Behavioral Change Theories, Wikipedia Article Audio Behavioral change theories are attempts to explain why behaviors change. These theories cite environmental, personal, and behavioral characteristics as the major factors in behavioral determination. In recent years, there has been increased interest in the application of these theories in the areas of health, education, criminology, energy, and international development with the hope that understanding behavioral change will improve the services offered in these areas. Some scholars have recently introduced a distinction between models of behavior and theories of change. Whereas models of behavior are more diagnostic and geared towards understanding the psychological factors that explain or predict a specific behavior, theories of change are more process-oriented and generally aimed at changing a given behavior. Thus, from this perspective, understanding and changing behavior are two separate but complementary lines of scientific investigation. Each behavioral change theory or model focuses on different factors in attempting to explain behavior change. Of the many that exist, the most prevalent are learning theories, social cognitive theory, theories of reasoned action and planned behavior, trans-theoretical model of behavior change, the health action process approach and the B.J. Fogg model of behavior change. Research has also been conducted regarding specific elements of these theories, especially elements like self-efficacy that are common to several of the theories. General Theories and Models Self-Efficacy Self-efficacy is an individual's impression of their own ability to perform a demanding or challenging task such as facing an exam or undergoing surgery. This impression is based upon factors like the individual's prior success in the task or in related tasks, the individual's physiological state, and outside sources of persuasion. Self-efficacy is thought to be predictive of the amount of effort an individual will expend in initiating and maintaining a behavioral change, so although self-efficacy is not a behavioral change theory per se, it is an important element of many of the theories, including the health belief model, the theory of planned behavior and the health action process approach. From behaviorists such as B.F. Skinner come the learning theories, which state that complex behavior is learned gradually through the modification of simpler behaviors. Imitation and reinforcement play important roles in these theories which state that individuals learn by duplicating behaviors they observe in others and that rewards are essential to ensuring the repetition of desirable behavior. As each simple behavior is established through imitation and subsequent reinforcement, the complex behavior develops. When verbal behavior is established the organism can learn through rule-governed behavior and thus not all action needs to be contingency-shaped. According to the social learning theory, behavioral change is determined by environmental, personal, and behavioral elements. Each factor affects each of the others. For example, in congruence with the principles of self-efficacy, an individual's thoughts affect their behavior and an individual's characteristics elicit certain responses from the social environment. Likewise, an individual's environment affects the development of personal characteristics as well as the person's behavior, and an individual's behavior may change their environment as well as the way the individual thinks or feels. Social learning theory focuses on the reciprocal interactions between these factors, which are hypothesis to determine behavioral change. The theory of reasoned action assumes that individuals consider a behavior's consequences before performing the particular behavior. As a result, intention is an important factor in determining behavior and behavioral change. According to Isaac Agen, 
intentions develop from an individual's perception of a behavior as positive or negative together with the individual's impression of the way their society perceives the same behavior. Thus, personal attitude and social pressure shape intention, which is essential to performance of a behavior and consequently behavioral change. In 1985, Ajahn expanded upon the theory of reasoned action, formulating the theory of planned behavior, which also emphasizes the role of intention in behavior performance but is intended to cover cases in which a person is not in control of all factors affecting the actual performance of a behavior. As a result, the new theory states that the incidence of actual behavior performance is proportional to the amount of control an individual possesses over the behavior and the strength of the individual's intention in performing the behavior. In his article, further hypothesis is that self-efficacy is important in determining the strength of the individual's intention to perform a behavior. In 2010, Fishbein and Ajahn introduced the reasoned action approach, the successor of the theory of planned behavior. Learning Theories and Behavior Analytic Theories of Change According to the trans-theoretical model of behavior change, also known as the stages of change model, states that there are five stages towards behavior change. The five stages between which individuals may transition before achieving complete change, are pre-contemplation, contemplation, preparation for action, action, and maintenance. At the pre-contemplation stage, an individual may or may not be aware of a problem but has no thought of changing their behavior. From pre-contemplation to contemplation, the individual begins thinking about changing a certain behavior. During preparation, the individual begins his plans for change, and during the action stage the individual begins to exhibit new behavior consistently. An individual finally enters the maintenance stage once they exhibit the new behavior consistently for over six months. A problem faced with the stages of change model is that it is very easy for a person to enter the maintenance stage and then fall back into earlier stages. Factors that contribute to this decline include external factors such as weather or seasonal changes, and slash or personal issues a person is dealing with. The health action process approach is designed as a sequence of two continuous self-regulatory processes, a goal-setting phase and a goal-pursuit phase. The second phase is subdivided into a pre-action phase and an action phase. Motivational self-efficacy, outcome expectancies, and risk perceptions are assumed to be predictors of intentions. This is the motivational phase of the model. The predictive effect of motivational self-efficacy on behavior is assumed to be mediated by recovery self-efficacy, and the effects of intentions are assumed to be mediated by planning. The latter processes refer to the volitional phase of the model. Social Learning and Social Cognitive Theory the Fogg Behavior Model is a design behavior change model proposed by B.J. Fogg. This model posits that behavior is composed of three different factors, motivation, ability, and triggers. Under the FBM, for any person to succeed at behavior change needs to be motivated, have the ability to perform the behavior and needs a trigger to perform this behavior. The next are the definitions of each of the elements of the BFM. B.J. Fogg does not provide a definition of motivation but instead defines different motivators. This factor refers to the self-efficacy perception at performing a target behavior. Although low ability is undesirable it may be unavoidable, we are fundamentally lazy according to B.J. Fogg. In such case behavior change is approached not through learning but instead by promoting target behaviors for which the user has a high ability. 
Additionally BJ Fogg lists several elements or dimensions that characterize high ability or simplicity of performing a behavior. Theory of Reasoned Action Triggers are reminders that may be explicit or implicit about the performance of a behavior. Examples of triggers can be alarms, text messages or advertisement. Triggers are usually perceptual in nature but may also be intrinsic. One of the most important aspects of a trigger is timing as only certain times are best for triggering certain behaviors. As an example if a person is trying to go to the gym every day, but only remembers about packing clothing once out of the house it is less likely that this person will head back home and pack. In contrast if an alarm sounds right before leaving the house reminding about packing clothing, this will take considerably less effort. Although the original article does not have any references for the reasoning or theories behind the model, some of its elements can be traced to social psychology theories, e.g., the motivation and ability factors and its success or failure are related to self-efficacy. Theory of Planned Behavior Behavioral change theories can be used as guides in developing effective teaching methods. Since the goal of much education is behavioral change, the understanding of behavior afforded by behavioral change theories provides insight into the formulation of effective teaching methods that tap into the mechanisms of behavioral change. In an era when education programs strive to reach large audiences with varying socio-economic statuses, the designers of such programs increasingly strive to understand the reasons behind behavioral change in order to understand universal characteristics that may be crucial to program design. Trans-theoretical or stages of change model In fact, some of the theories like the social learning theory and theory of planned behavior, were developed as attempts to improve health education. Because these theories address the interaction between individuals and their environments, they can provide insight into the effectiveness of education programs given a specific set of predetermined conditions, like the social context in which a program will be initiated. Although health education is still the area in which behavioral change theories are most often applied, theories like the stages of change model have begun to be applied in other areas like employee training and developing systems of higher education. Empirical studies in criminology support behavioral change theories. At the same time, the general theories of behavioral change suggest possible explanations to criminal behavior and methods of correcting deviant behavior. Since deviant behavior correction entails behavioral change, understanding of behavioral change can facilitate the adoption of effective correctional methods in policy making. For example, the understanding that deviant behavior like stealing may be learned behavior resulting from reinforcers like hunger satisfaction that are unrelated to criminal behavior can aid the development of social controls that address this underlying issue rather than merely the resultant behavior. Health Action Process Approach Specific theories that have been applied to criminology include the social learning and differential association theories. Social learning theories element of interaction between an individual and their environment explains the development of deviant behavior as a function of an individual's exposure to a certain behavior and their acquaintances, who can reinforce either socially acceptable or socially unacceptable behavior. Differential Association Theory, originally formulated by Edwin Sutherland, is a popular, related theoretical explanation of criminal behavior that applies learning theory concepts and asserts that deviant behavior is learned behavior. Recent years have seen an increased interest in energy consumption reduction based on behavioral change be it for reasons of climate change mitigation or energy security. 
The application of behavioral change theories in the field of energy consumption behavior yields interesting insights. For example, it supports criticism of a too narrow focus on individual behavior and a broadening to include social interaction, lifestyles, norms, and values as well as technologies and policies. All enabling or constraining behavioral change. Besides the models and theories of behavior change there are methods for promoting behavior change. Among them one of the most widely used is tailoring or personalization. Tailoring refers to methods for personalizing communications intended to generate higher behavior change than non-personalized ones. There are two main claims for why tailoring works. Tailoring may improve preconditions for message processing and tailoring may improve impact by altering starting behavioral determinants of goal outcomes. The different message processing mechanisms can be summarized into, attention, effortful processing, emotional processing and self-reference. Behavioral determinants of goal outcomes are the different psychological and social constructs that have a direct influence on behavior. The three most used mediators in tailoring are attitude, perception of performance and self-efficacy. Although results are largely positive they are not consistent and more research on the elements that make tailoring work is necessary. Fog Behavior Model Behavioral change theories are not universally accepted. Criticisms include the theory's emphasis on individual behavior and a general disregard for the influence of environmental factors on behavior. In addition, as some theories were formulated as guides to understanding behavior while others were designed as frameworks for behavioral interventions, the theory's purposes are not consistent. Such criticism illuminates the strengths and weaknesses of the theories, showing that there is room for further research into behavioral change theories. Motivation Pleasure-slash-pain these motivators produce a response immediately and although powerful these are not ideal. Boosting motivation could be achieved by embodying pain or pleasure, hope slash fear, both these motivators have a delayed response and are the anticipation of a future positive outcome or negative outcome. As an example people joining a dating website hope to meet other people, social acceptance slash rejection, People are motivated by behaviors that increase or preserve their social acceptance. Time The user has the time to perform the target behavior or the time taken is very low. Money The user has enough financial resources for pursuing the behavior. In some cases money can buy time, physical effort, Target behaviors that require a physical effort may not be simple enough to be performed. Brain cycles. Target behaviors that require of high cognitive resources may not be simple hence undesirable for behavior change. Social deviance. These comprehend behaviors that make the user socially deviant. These kind of behaviors are not simple, non-routine. Any behavior that incurs disrupting a routine is considered not simple. Simple behaviors are usually part of routines and hence easy to follow. Ability Triggers Education Criminology Attention, tailored messages are more likely to be read and remembered, effortful processing, Tailored messages elicit careful consideration of persuasive arguments and more systematic utilization of the receiver's own schemas and memories. This could also turn out damaging because this careful consideration does increase counter-arguing, evaluations of credibility and other processes that lessens message effects, peripheral emotion slash processing. Tailoring could be used to create an emotional response such as fear, hope or anxiety. 
Since positive emotions tend to reduce effortful processing and negative emotions enhance it, emotion arousal could elicit varying cognitive processing, self-reference, this mechanism promotes the comparison between actual and ideal behaviors and reflection. Energy Communication Tailoring Objections